Hello everybody, I am Marco Martignoni and today I would like to share with you some interesting news in irrigation in Endo. It is well known that apart from trauma and chemical irritation, pulpal disease is always sustained by bacteria. Therefore, when we are requested to do our treatments, we generally want to remove as many bacteria as possible. Endo, by now, has become extremely efficient. It is a simple procedure, fast and very reliable. All we need to do is to follow a step-by-step -step procedure. And every single step is just as important and needs to be followed regardless of the complexity of the case. Following the procedure will lead to predictable success and irrigation plays a very important role. When in the clinical steps, irrigation plays a very, very important role because of the fact that instrumentation alone is not sufficient to offer us the best cleaning possible. It is clear that instruments are not efficient enough in removing everything from canals. They will never touch 100% of canal walls. Now if we look at the anatomy, the anatomy of natural canals cannot be truly cleaned by instruments. Instruments will never reach in isthmuses, in lateral ramifications, or in connections between canals. Instruments alone are not enough. Instruments will create the conditions for the irrigants to do their job. And the job of irrigants is to remove tissue, debris, remove bacteria, and achieve the best disinfection possible. Instruments still are the one tool needed in order to create the conditions to simplify the endodontic treatment. Development of the ideal space in the main canal will enhance irrigation and consequently promote tissue dissolution and disinfection. A well-shaped canal will be better cleaned and it will be easily dried. Fitting a proper obturation cone will be easier and obturation overall will be a lot more controllable. The endodontic system is generally unpredictable and it will show normally only at the end of the obturation when, if everything has been properly done, the forces applied to Gurpercha will reveal all the anatomy present in the intent of fulfilling all the empty space left. As it is clearly shown in those cases, the anatomy that is present revealed only in the, in the end. And it was not at all predictable when we began the treatment. In order to obtain this kind of three-dimensional filling, good irrigation is very important. The problem in irrigations arise due to the anatomy. The anatomy creates problems in bringing the irrigants where we need. And this happens generally in the majority of canals. We all know that it is much easier to bring irrigants in the coronal opening, whereas it's much more difficult to bring irrigants all the way down in the apical third. And exchanging irrigant in the apical third is even more difficult due to many problems that can arise during instrumentation. According to the best evidence, 
what is necessary in order to have better success in disinfection is very good and efficient delivery and eventually add some kind of agitation or ac activation of the irrigants. In fact, every system for agitation shows better effect of irrigation. But what really seems to be extremely important is efficient delivery of the irrigants. What we really need is to keep exchanging fresh irrigant all the way to the apical third. And that is the key to have better cleaning and disinfection and, and then a better endodontic treatment. In order to obtain that, we need to choose a needle that possibly reaches near the apical portion. Cleanness of the apical third is in direct relationship with the reach of the needle to the apical foramen. The closer the needle, the better the cleaning seemed to be important. Well, in the research, it is clear that the bigger the needle, the bigger you have to prepare the canal. Where a 30 gauge needle in this research uh, showed to reach near the apical extent in canals that ranged from 20, 25, and 30. The problem in the real case is the fact that the anatomy, it's never straight. And very oftentimes we have curvatures or sometimes double curvatures that will not allow the needle to reach all to the apical extent. A lot of research has been done on the delivery needles. And what is clear is that we want to have delivery, but at the same time, we want to be safe. Where open-ended needles, as it is shown in the picture, open-ended needles will extrude and create a lot of flow ahead of the needle, regardless of the fact that they have a 45 inclination or a bevel or a side opening. Front and the needles, they will always show tendency to have a flow ahead of the needle. And in terms of safety, this could be uh, dangerous sometimes if you happen to have an open uh, foramen, for instance. For what concerns the safe-ended needles, they seem to be a lot more safer. In fact, from the name of them, uh, safe-ended, regardless of the fact that they may have uh, one opening, two opening, or multiple openings, they will offer a flow that will extend of around one millimeter ahead of the needle, making the whole procedure of irrigation a lot more safer. All the investigation done on needles gave us a standard, and the standard is a safe-ended needle made out of metal with a side vent or multiple side vents. So from this gold standard, now we are facing a breakthrough in endo. And the breakthrough in endo, it's a complete new material for the needle. We can now rely on a plastic needle. The needle has a 65 degree angulation. It has uh, depth references along the shaft. It has a 30 gauge tip which will allow the needle to reach the apical region in the vast majority of our shapes. It is safe ended and presents two side vents for lateral delivery. It is a full plastic needle, single use, with lure lock attachment.
It can go on any syringe with or without lower lock. You simply screw it in and screw it out. You can see the tip will easily fit in a 30 size. The depth references will be clearly seen on the shaft. The needle will reach around 25 millimeters. And I will always encourage the users to use a rubber stopper. And this in order to increase safety. The needle is extremely small and by using the stopper we avoid over engagement of the needle. As you can see the needle is extremely flexible. It will reach almost anywhere. So the needle is small, flexible, and safe. The side vents will deliver the irrigant never ahead of the needle, always on the sides, but still very close to the end. In order to understand how good the system works, we can see at a plastic block where the foramen, the apical extent, was closed intentionally in order to create a closed system. So the closed system now, it's extremely small and the needle cannot proceed. But after the shape, using a conservative system, we end up with a lot of debris within the closed system. And the plastic needle, the ear reflex, it's definitely going to be able to exchange the irrigant within the closed system within seconds. If we want to evaluate what would a conventional stainless steel needle do, the needle is very capable of bringing irrigant in the coronal third, in the middle third, but never would be able to exchange irrigant in the apical extent. The risk in this case is forcing the needle or bending the needle and accidentally create some damage. In the same time, in this curvature, the irreflex needle will exchange the irrigant and clear the space within less than two seconds, all the way to working length. And remember, in a closed system. So it is very controllable. With the syringe, we can extrude gently to understand where we are, the depth we are reaching, and if accidentally we are engaging the needle too much. It may feel like we are using a gutta percha cone, but instead it's a delivery needle. Endodontics is becoming more and more conservative. Instruments are more flexible and they are able to go around the structure creating enough shape in order to irrigate. But this obviously will, uh, will have to manage the insertion of the needle through curvatures. Let's see what happens in a double curvature. This represented, it's a very small canal with a double curvature. And if we want to have a modern approach in shaping, we want to save the curvatures but still try to develop enough shape. Now, this that we are looking at is a size 20 in the end. And already the needle is able to get enough cleaning, even though 
it does not reach perfectly the apical foramen. But now bringing the preparation to a size 25, now it is a 7% for the first millimeters, will enable the needle to reach all the way near the working length. And this will definitely result in better cleaning, better disinfection, and better obturation at the end. Minimally invasive uh, endo, it's becoming more and more possible due to the advances of metals and instrumentation. The tooth we're looking at is a 3D printing of an upper molar. And we are looking at the mesial root, showing MB1 in the lower part of the screen and MB2 in the upper portion. It is possible today to maintain a more coronal tooth structure if we use new generation flexible files with smaller taper. At the same time, we need to irrigate sufficiently the whole system and definitely we need to irrigate in the apical third. Using the Iriflex needle will result in ideal cleaning even in a conservative preparation of this kind. All the other operations will be much easier. From drying, to fitting the system for operation, to finally end up in three-dimensional fulfilling of the residual space. Irreflex is a game changer. It is a game changer in terms of simplicity in terms of control, in terms of the security of having the best irrigation possible in the apical third. Nevertheless, we still can use the needle for suctioning, just pumping in and out irrigants through the syringe. Cases where Nowadays, we want to maintain the tooth structure. We will have to work conservative from beginning to end. And this includes also the irrigation. This means that we will have to prepare just the right amount of canal in order to be able to irrigate, disinfect, dry, obturate, and finally restore. And the Aeroflex in this case, it's simple to use, it's very reliable, it is very safe, and it is super efficient. If we have the stopper, it is almost impossible to bring the needle beyond the working length or beyond the length that we decided to position it. And this will offer us a quicker disinfection, better control, and a more successful treatment from any point of view. Simple irrigation, but really efficient and easy to obtain. It's definitely the new standard for irrigation in endo. And using the Irifex plastic needle makes this operation extremely simple. Cases where bacteria definitely are everywhere need to be disinfected. Here, the previous treatment went wrong. And the first thing we have to obtain is a cleared space. And in order to do that, we just have to apply the right tools. We have to apply whatever is needed in the different situations in order to obtain a cleared space. But disinfection will play the game. Disinfection will be the solution. Using the air reflex, once we have a cleared space, 
will enable us to bring the irrigants all the way inside the canal to any extent. We can exchange as much irrigant as we like, and we could also use different irrigants through the same needle just by changing the syringe. At the end of the treatment, we will use the same syringe to pump in and out, and lastly, to aspirate the needle, and therefore, speed up the process of drying and then obturation. Overall, the whole process will be a lot more efficient. The irrigant will reach all the way through the canals and they will leave out a cleaner space to be obturated and then finally restored. So the whole treatment is based on disinfection. And the final operation will be just the last stop for a better treatment. So finally, to conclude, if we are really looking for better endo, we are facing now some unique super simplified system that can really offer us a much better chance of doing good endo. So to conclude, I encourage you to evaluate the use of the Iriflex plastic needle every time you're looking for efficient, safe, and super easy irrigation. In any situation, you will be able to rely on the best system for delivery that you can couple with any other system of agitation or use it as a standalone. It's already the best endo you can achieve. So thank you for your attention and I wish you good endo.